Hey guys, how's it going? It is Piplet or Jdam, whatever, um, of that clan. Just kidding, it's Mel. I don't know why I said that. It is a test server uh, for 10.0 or 9.10, my bad. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, and we are going over the Tech 91, a tier 3 heavy. Just kidding, it is the Japanese heavy line, which is a little bit absurd. You think it come off the Kiho, but I believe the Chihi is actually better, so we don't care about the Kiho. So it gets its own line. Anyways, um, we're just going to be going over all the tiers. This is just going to be first looks, no actual games, but here we go. Uh, tier 2, tier 2 medium. Uh, it's a Type 89 Ego, or the Chiro, I like to call it the Renault FT of Doom, or something. I don't really know, that's not very clever. The point is, it's really, really big. Look at this thing, it's a giant FT. Look, look at this. It, it has, like, the front vaguely looks like it, the turrets kind of the same. But here it is. Uh, let's go over the gun. This isn't very exciting because it's 2-2. It's a stock gun. And then, oh, his, there's a final gun. Here's a stock gun. Uh, it's just the same gun, just slightly better. Uh, slightly higher rate of fire and dispersion. Weighs more. You can expect that. Um, it's a derp gun because it has slightly less HE, one less HE pen than, it's, than the AP. So, <clears throat> there it is. Other than that, it's not very exciting. Uh, it's not very exciting, it goes 25, it's kind of slow, it weighs 13 tons. <coughs> Sorry. Um, tier 3, Type 91 Heavy. It's tier 3 Heavy, it's actually kind of exciting, because it's one of a kind. Um, let's say about it. It has no armor, it's gigantic, it weighs 20 tons, it's very slow. It doesn't actually have a bad traverse speed, it's not bad actually. Um, yeah, it's like a grass tractor with the turret on the back. Okay, that's a machine gun. I thought that was a cannon for a minute. Same thing on front. <clears throat> Guns. Uh, 7 millimeter. Oh, 7, seven centimeter millimeter. That's like a machine gun. 30 cal, I guess. Um, a little bit smaller than 30 cal, but whatever. Anyways, 70 millimeter cannon. It's a derp gun. Not that bad. 35 pen. Japanese tanks always have high pen in their HE if it's a derp gun for some reason. Then an AP. But 160 damage. Eh, accuracy. Horrible. Um, dispersion. Um, and then there's a 47, actual cannon. Good rate of fire. Uh, okay pen. Well, I'm pretty sure that's good pen for the tier. And okay damage. Aiming time could be a little bit better, but it's tier 3. Who really cares? It's a BMW engine. Huh. Weird. Weird. Uh, tier 4. Um, Type 95 Heavy. It has two turrets. It's like a 37 or 47 or something. Um, it's a heavy tank, I already covered that. What am I saying? 22, horribly slow, better traverse speed, 30 tons. Um, let's go with guns. This is just generally how it's all gonna be. Same 7cm from the Type 91 and a 75 from the Chi He. And Chi Niu, actually. But Chi He, would you say that? Um, takes heat for some reason. So, there you go. Uh, BMW engine, 70 pen, 110 damage, good rate of fire, good. Eh, okay at any time, and decent accuracy or dispersion, whatever you want to call it. These aren't very exciting, but this is tier 5, 01 experimental. Look at this size. Bam. Look at that. 75 millimeters on the front and turret. And we have the stock gun. You've seen that in the videos they've hinted. And just look at the size of this. 70 millimeters everywhere. Um, flat everywhere he is gonna love this thing look at that angle look at that front angle of actual plates pretty good back and bounce shots side scraping is gonna be really good for this it's like a tiger and most of them are like that so and there's a little gun right there is that a flat cannon I don't really know it looks slightly bigger anyways exhaust ports which looks really cool these giant tracks and whatever those are um Guns. This is actually kind of exciting. Tier 5, a 120. You've seen this in the videos, like I've said before, of the videos they've talked about this um, on the Heavy Tank number 6 video they did with the Japanese heavies. So you see, they've used this gun. It's a derp gun. <laughs> Amazing with heat. That'd be fun. It's like a KV-1. Or KV-1S, whatever you want to say. A 10mm 
This is like the ARL's 105 kind of okay pen. That's actually a really good gun in my opinion. 75. And this is final 75. So, uh, this is going to take a slightly longer here. 120 is a derp. You know, not much exciting. Why would you use AP over HG? I don't know, because they get the same pen. Heat is amazing. 360 damage. Accuracy is, or aiming time is really good, surprisingly. Alright, alright, rate of fire. Accuracy dispersion is god awful. Uh, final 75, it's an actual cannon. Good rate of fire, good damage, good accuracy. Okay, well, good aiming time, I'm just going to say there. Because it has a good rate of fire. Um, is it 10 centimeter? It's like the ARL's, um, 105. That's horrible, well, not horrible pen, but actually, that's really good pen for the tier. So, there it is. It's a good gun. It's like a 107, just with less pen. Um, and then the stock 75. Who okay, cares? So, um, what is interesting is the speed. 40, uh, I almost said knots. 40 kilometers an hour. It's, it's a, it's a boat. 40 kilometers an hour. Bad traverse speed, but it has a 1200 horsepower engine that weighs up to 105 tons. That's a bit insane. But look at that gun. That looks like a 75. Like, maybe it's just me. Is it just me, or does that look way too small? I don't know. It's a 120. Anyways, uh, next tank. I put on equipment, by the way, because I was going to play this. <laughs> I never got in the game. It's kind of quiet in the test server. So, tier 6, the 01. Look at that gun. This look, it just looks cooler. Look at this. It's bigger. It's better. It's huge. It's 150 tons. How much does the mouse weigh? Let's pull it up real quick. This is tier 6, and this weighs 150 tons. The mouse weighs 188. Look at the size. Tier 10. Tier 6. It's bigger. I appreciate it's slightly uh, longer and slightly wider. Um... Good armor, 150, it's getting better. This is like the KV-5. Look at those cannons, just only if you could use those, that'd be great. There they are, um... About 47, oh, 76 is 05, whatever they are. Um... Armor, 150, all around the turret, really good. Gun looks really cool, looks like a modern gun, like how it's all slanted. Um, same engine. Let's go for the guns, actually. You get the 100 you used before, or oh, no, no it isn't. <laughs> I knew that. 100 uh, you get this here, which is a really good grind. Look at this, 175. It's a 107, like off a T150. This seems like a, this seems basically like a T150, except way like three, two times as large. And accuracy, it's like the 107. So and there it is. Um, damage good. Uh, accurate or oh, dispersion? Yeah, it's pretty good actually compared to this derp, which is. A derp! Look at that. AP gets more damage. Or more pen, I mean. I hope it doesn't get more damage. There it is. 149, actually. 149.1. Weird size. Let's pull, up, let's pull up that gun. Oh, it's already on. I'm not prepared for this. Yeah. Anyways. It's a 150. Here's a 10... I'm gonna say 107. It's a 100. Um... Really, both of these guns are good. KV-2 or... It's like a KV-2! It's like a KV-2. People could be using the dirt for because who wouldn't? But there it is. There's a gun. It's really good if heat. AP is actually really good if you can get lower tier targets. I would save a couple heat shells for, you know, high tier games. Accuracy is god awful. Aiming time is pathetic. Um, but it's a dirt gun. Why can, how can you complain? Um, and then it's heavy tank number six. That's just in here. Crew trainer. Uh, now tier seven. Oni. This is looking a bit like the mediums with the turrets. Looks a bit like the Cheeto, which you knew. I don't know about the Chiri, but... <clears throat> it has a T1, T-34 kind of gun where it, like, it slants right there. But here it is. Um, tier 7. Getting better armor. Really good front tool, frontal turret armor. 200. 175 whole armor. This is going to end up being like the... Like the KV-5, where the radio operator gets killed every minute. <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, guns... Oh, before I go over that, all for traverse speed, top speeds, meh. Uh, now guns. Get the 100 like he did. Not a bad grind. You get another 100. Really good gun, look at this. 190, 330. It, it's like the, um, like the, like a worse, uh, KB4 gun. And that's actually how the, oh ho, the tier 8's gun is. And then you get the 150 dirt. But this, uh, new 100. Let's close all these. 
good accuracy for what it is, I suppose, because um, you have to spend long. You're gonna spend a long time aiming because you're gonna have a slow rate of fire. Good alpha, 105. Um, say it has the same engine. There you go. Um, there it is. Uh, it's a giant brick. Doesn't have the back turret anymore, which is a little disappointing. No, look at that. This has a double actually. Did you even notice that? But they look really cool. I mean, come on, look at this. You can't really side scrape. Well, you can. Well, why couldn't you? It's two seven. Unless you run into like a boy stick or something. Anyways, oh ho, the tier eight heavy. Why am I saying heavy? They're all heavies. <clears throat> Um, amazing armor at this point, 200, 200, 200, you can say that's great, amazing. Okay guys, sorry about that jump cut there, uh, tier 8, the Oho, um, let's see here, same engine as all the other ones, you get the same engine tier 9, uh, I think I mentioned that before, um, oh maybe I didn't, 25 top speed, awful, well not that bad, considering it weighs 120 tons, that's a lot, uh, obviously. 17 shipper speed, it could be worse. Arm is really good. 200, 200, 200, 200. And these Japanese tanks have better rear armor, which makes me think that, uh, not supposed to be flanked. They have more side armor, so. Hmm, no. So there it is. Um, guns research. Here's a sock gun, the 175 pen, and then here's a better gun, 215. This gun's like, uh, KB4's gun. Uh, let's pull that up real quick. K4. This is this 24. Just put this gun away, because don't use that. Um, we're going to have to grind it for I believe. Let's see. What else was there? Oh, a howitzer. You get the howitzer, the 150. Don't use that either. Just use the 105. Whatever it was. <laughs> 100. <laughs> Anyways, here's the 10 centimeter, 105. Um, for the most part, the same gun. I think this is a better gun because it has a high rate of fire. Worse pen, but you know, get the high rate of fire to get the advantage over that. This also has APCR though, I think I believe that is. So. Yeah, APCR. Um, higher damage. <coughs> uh accuracy is better on this or dispersion. Aiming times uh 0.3 better on this, so that's good. But I I'll take this gun over the KV4s. Also, this tank's huge, so it looks cool. <laughs> 2-9, uh, Type 4 Heavy. Look at this. I'm just gonna pause there, because look at it. I'm just gonna pause here. Look at this gun, I love oh, this tank. Look how it looks, I just love it. Like, it's just so mean looking. Okay, uh, Type 9, four, Type 4 Heavy, whoops. Uh, lots of hits points, weighs a crap load, has the same engine. All the tanks except two nine from C five to two nine had the same engine, so please, please research that. Um, twenty top speed, twenty traverse, not bad, actually. I don't think it gets up to top speed, but traverse, you know, it is what it is. Whole arm is amazing, from what I see. I played a game that two ten, it was good. Um, I bounced a lot of shots, I'm not very good at it, but anyways, turret arm was good. 200, 200, 150, 140, 250. Um, it is flat still, but, you know, cover your plates up right here. You can side scrape, you do good. Uh, let's go for the guns. You have a 127, which is like the 128. This is a really good gun, actually. 3.68 rate of fire, good, for what it is. 230 pen, amazing. 450 damage, really good. Okay, accuracy, really good aiming time. But, that is nothing compared to this. This 140, or 139.7. 2.88 rate of fire. <clears throat> you know, it's not bad, but for the, for the size, but, you know, it's not as good as that mediums, obviously. But it does have the alpha. Look at that. 600. Speaking of that, 249 pen compared to 282. Uh, that's all my piercing, but I would load some AP, AP in it just for fun. But you'd be perfectly perfectly fine with the uh, standard ammo. Um, but that damage, well, really, it's insane. It's like the, the 150 in the... E100, what it wants to be. This is the gun. It also has better armor, which is kind of depressing, but I don't know how that will play out later on. Also, it's huge looking. Here's the 127, by the way. Slightly smaller. Um, 2.9 aim time. I already went over that. Why am I saying that? Uh, not much else to say about it, but here is what you've all probably been waiting for Type 5 Heavy. See you at 10.
There's a T9. T10. Slightly different the front. Because it has 260 millimeters of armor on the front. This is the best armor in the game. Turret armor, uh, the object 260 or whatever. The thing you get from the missions is better. But amazing turret armor. 210 uh, side, 200 rear, uh, 150, 140, 260. We already went over that. Same engine, technically. Um, you know, tier 10, so. Uh, we can up, we can weigh up to 160 tons. Who really cares? Um, top speed 25. I can actually see that because it weighs a little bit less. Traverse speeds, 2 degrees better than the last one, was it? Yeah. So there it is. Let's go for the gun. Why am I going there? Here's the gun. It's the same gun as a tier 9. Just better. 3.39 rate of fire, much better. At least in my opinion. About 1, was it? Um, 2.88, not 1. What am I saying? Still better, Val. 249 alpha damage. Um, 600, or penetration, 600 damage. Uh, 2.5 aiming time, really good. Okay, I can see what it is. Let's actually pull up the, the E100's gun. Just do a comparison. This kind of puts it to shame. I believe they actually recently buffed this, so... It's still a better gun, sadly. Well, kind of. The thing is that this has, I forgot, this has a slightly higher alpha if you pen, but this is more reliable because it has the penetration, so you don't have to use that. Also, it has better uh, heat, actually. I didn't know that was heat. I never played an E100. Um, better ac aiming time for the, for the Type 5. And same accuracy. So, this has better damage. Um... That's it. <laughs> and this has higher rate of fire, higher pen, uh, and a better aiming time. So there it is. The Japanese heavies. Um, let's pull up the line just to give you a clear look on them. Um, here it is. Just go skim through all these. O1 Experimental. O1. Oni. Oho. I'm saying name is the next tanks, by the way, I'm looking at. Uh, type 4 Heavy. And the Type 5 Heavy. So guys, there they are. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be doing reviews on each of these tanks separately when I have when I feel like it. <laughs> um, like, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos. And stay tuned for the reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye.